I'm gonna go with my gut, which is probably wrong. I'm gonna do this play. Because now... The block meter is screwing us. He would have won in lane two. There's just a bunch of things that happen there. Can we please actually roll well here? Yes! 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 What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we're doing a new take on Aggro Chompzilla. Uh, someone sort of gave me the idea to be running like an aggro sort of deck. They were running a bunch of different deck lists, but this is my take on it. Uh, the cool thing that we're running in this deck is the vegetation mutation. I've actually had a lot of success. In a lot of other decks, Chompzilla even capped the combustible where you just play a one drop on heights on turn one and then you add two two to it. On turn two, it's kind of underrated, even though well, it's a two cost two two. That's not good. It doesn't work that way because it makes that losing minion turn into a winning minion. And also, you know, obviously, it's just one minion there that you're growing, so it doesn't charge block meter unnecessarily. Um, so, you know, you sort of you can use this just for heights. Um, obviously, it's a lot more value if you can hit something in an environment as well. Uh, so I'm running Coffee Grounds, which is sort of like a cheap way of doing a bonus attack in the stack. Every once in a while, you can surprise them. Just from a haunted pumpkins on the ground, this will actually do an extra attack. If you're spreading your board thin, you're gonna have like one unchecked aggro minion typically. That's a really good good idea. Just do hunting, you know, coffee grounds, because that's just an extra, you know, an extra attack every single turn. Uh, so we're also running Cosmos as a one drop. You can play Cosmos on the ground on turn one. That's the one cost two two, but then when you play the coffee grounds in said lane. On turn two, then it's going to be a 3-3 three, three double strikes, so like a little mini Bananasaurus Rex uh, that does a lot of damage. <clears throat> and again, if you have anything in the coffee grounds, that means the vegetation mutation is going to grow that minion, and then that minion's doing double strike, etc. So our finishers are going to be the Elderberry, have a lot of one drops, really good to add some damage. Uh, of course, we're running plant food to do some bonus attacks, and we are running plenty of peas in this deck. So Gatling P will be able to go either on the click P or on the Black IP, or on the Split P. All of them are very good aggro cards. Even the Black IP only does two damage. This prevents them from using Tricks, which is the main counter to aggro. Uh, trick removal, this will punish them for it. So, you know, even a two cost three four is ridiculously good. Uh, split P can charge your block meter, so maybe you can use like the Devour or the Scorch Earth to um, clear a lane or draw some extra cards. So getting a little free block meter, of course, is good. But let's get into the deck. I have high hopes for this deck. I tested it a little bit offline. It work pretty well. Good old solar aggro deck. We're bringing it back, but in a new way. The, 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 the vegetation mutation is really the key here. Uh, the game should be going really fast since we're playing aggro, so we're either going to win really quickly or get our tushes controlled. Really good. The first game is against HE. So, if you think this deck will go eight, win eight games, We'll get eight wins out of ten games. Vote yes. Seven wins or fewer is going to be a no. We're betting our channel points called Fries over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash Fry. Typically, don't want to keep Gatling in your starting hand. Uh, this is interesting because, you know, he's always going to have an environment that we're going to want to cover. So uh, this is a really good start, particularly Haunted Pumpkin against Hugh Giganticus. The only way for him to counter this is by playing... <laughs> it's by playing... Um, Suave Smoke Bomb would be the only way. It would be the only way. So, does this go on heights? We have Scorch. We also have Coffee Grounds. For that reason, I'm going to just stick this on ground. You know, the result of this is he could freeze, but I think that's overall a good thing for us because then we're just going to, you know, he'll prevent four damage, but we'll cover that. And who knows, against his space time, wherever he plays next turn, we can end up just clearing this entire lane. So, yeah. There it is. Was that good for us? I, would we rather just have the four, the four damage and not have, have, let him have the sufficient play? I guess we're going to find out if this was the right decision. Let's see what he does. He'll probably stick something here. Um, so, I'm just going to go Coffee Grants. That's good. It's four damage, and it also clears his environment. So he'll get an imp in some random lane. Instead of setting something up and it can get hit by an imp, let's just kill that. We got the 4-1. We also have Scorch now, which is active on the ground. This is just at block meter now. 
I think we're doing okay, guys. So if he goes for tricks, we'll go with the black IP. Oh my gosh, we got veggie. I wish I had a one so we could actually buff this. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> Come on, man. So I'm going to Scorch and play Split P here. Uh, he won't unless he has a smoke bomb. He's not going to have an answer. So this should be an easy 8 damage, which is really good. And we have this play. We have Black IP. God, he's... Okay, who has oh, yeah, smoke bomb? Come on, man. Oh, that is the difference between him having 16 health and 8 health. That sucks. That sucks. Holy crap. Come on, man. So he's got Fire Rooster, the perfect answer. And then he's got... Who runs smoke? Okay, well, I guess some decks have smoke bomb. Come on. Okay, here we go. Oh, no, I didn't play around Pogo. Okay. Everything's fine. Don't have barrel of barrels now. No, 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 no. He's running Drone Engineer and Imp throwing it in the same deck. I don't get it. Here's four damage to the face. Hell yeah. This, this curve sucks. It sucks the big one. Let's go with the plant food. As, as long as he doesn't get something too big, this should result in 5 damage to face. It's usually something tiny anyway, so... Okay, for... Okay. Okay. Oh, what the hell am I supposed to... Come on, man. This deck is dominating, and this is the kind of crap that is happening right now. That is such BS. Oh, my God. Okay, we have... 10 damage strike through now. I guess I'll do it on this one. Holy crap. Okay. Can I... Oh, can this please not? Nah, maybe I should have played around Pogo, though. What was it last time, drone? I think it's just another drone engineer. I'll take the risk. There's that, so we should be able to get 10. Watch him roll a three, and then eliminate the coffee grounds with the second environment. Watch this. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, he has an environment. We know that. We'll still have a 5-3 strike through, though. Smelly something after this, everything this guy's running. That should do it. Why does he have. We should be okay here. So it's gonna be, um, vegetation mutate. I'm gonna. I don't know. He pl play this on heights, and then if he plays any tricks, his blob dies. If he doesn't play a trick, he dies. He could have an environment. Which environment with Trapper Territory would screw this up? Also, uh, a totally... I'm gonna play around Total Eclipse. And do it like this. If he got Trapper Territory from HG, oh my goodness gracious. Mm -mm -mm -mm. There's no way. There's no, that's his out. I mean, now he, I don't think there's any environments that save him here. That does not do anything. Yeah, we got him, boys. Holy crap, he's dead. Sheesh. Sheesh. <laughs> we won anyway after all that crap. <laughs> what the hell, bro? Hell yeah. I gotta get that in the fam comp. I don't even know what happened. <laughs> it's game one. I'm stressed out already. We need a leap. <laughs> What's need going a leap. on? Big brain today. Exactly. Big luck. So wait. So we're gonna go with um. It's going to be... A 
Okay, let's go. Easy. What are the bets? Let's check the bets after that. It's 51-49? Really? You guys have split right down the middle today? Wait, is that today or yesterday? Hold on, I think that was yesterday's bet. Sometimes the thing doesn't update. Yeah, it's 51 to 49. Holy moly. So here's, you know, we have early game is keeping Gatling at this point. I think it's better to go for the early game combos than that is what I'm talking about. So we can go one, two. Uh, these are both good cards. This technically counts as late game too. All right, so this will be, ooh, should I put this on heights though? I'm gonna just ditch the uh, Cosmos here. I really don't want this game, the card getting out of control. <laughs> so Black Eyed P dies to Rolling Stone. This is a little bit more immune, but on the other hand, this will punish car cards like Beam Me Up and and cryo brain this sort of is good against cryo brain too i might go with the apple saucer here and just play around rolling stone it dies pretty bad to beam me up it's really weird that he played that and he didn't have a play on turn two is there anything that really dies to rolling stone in this deck other than the black this is tough he can really go either way here I'm going to go with my gut and say this guy's going for Cryobrain this turn and not Rolling Stone. Well, whatever it was, it made him pass, so that's mission successful. So we can either spam two cards or we can grow this one. Um, It's probably like a teleportation zombie. What three drop? It could be like Landscaper. I really shouldn't be speculating, because I have no idea what this guy's running yet. I think I'm going to just push aggressively here. And not do the vegetation mutation quite yet. Gentleman, okay. But again, that means whatever trick he, pays, he plays, he's getting punished here. Even if he leaps, it means it's up a 4-drop against a 3-4. It's not a gimme. That's okay. That's really slow to just pr play that and protect it and grow my black IP. I've, I'll probably use the vegetation mutation now too. See if we can top deck a coffee grounds, so that would be nice. Yeah, there's just so many problems for this guy right now. So, I'm, I feel like he's trying to ramp to helicopter. I think I'm literally just gonna plant food here. Uh, I don't want him having six and then him, I don't know, playing helicopter, playing... He needs answers right now, and this is just insane. Now, this is going to be a 3-2 still? It's such a terrible play. Where the heck did he get Extinction Event bro, from Escape Through Time? Yeah, I mean, this this game's just over. He's not going to catch up. <laughs> Guys, I don't want to jump to conclusions, but, I mean, it is Rust Bolt. There's no way he deals with a 3-2, a 4-2, and a 3-2 this turn. So, yeah, I was gonna just combo him with the Elderberry, easy. <laughs> la 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 la. So, easy second game, a little easier than that first one. We're just racking up the stars. Apparently, there's no more seasons in this game, that is the rumor. So, here's another Ross. Ross Bolt's a really good matchup. So we'll go 1-2. I guess I don't really need you. Should we keep the veggie against Ross Bolt? Ross Bolt really is going to rely on, like, <laughs> big removal. I think I'd rather just get another card. This will be fun. La 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 la. So, the pumpkin answers that pretty nicely. Obviously, you don't want to play it here, because then it's a 4-1 and can get answered by something. But yeah, he just charges our block meter and we kill his defensive card for free. I wonder if anyone's going to try Sun Bandits today. 
That stream actually didn't make it to YouTube, so if you're watching this on YouTube, you'll have to wait for the highlight match. So that's cool. We have a couple options. Chomp is really good because it messes up his play. We can also develop the uh, Cosmos, which is fine. You know, it'll sell, set up for either an Elderberry or when we get a Coffee Ground, so... So, I'm just trying to think block meter. One, two, three, fourth shot gets... That's the one that gets hit, so let's put it here. Where did I hear? A lot of people were saying it for a while, and now they're... I don't really know what, what where people got that from, but I just keep on... Maybe it's just a room going around, but... Apparently the only program seasons until... 2023 when they programmed them so yeah even on turn three it's not super sun efficient but split p is a fine player a fine play indeed so that's okay he's spending his three drop that's the one he got actually <laughs> but we'll just continue the pain here there is a consideration to play Apple Saucer there to save the split pea for the Gatling, but I think anyway, you're not always even just playing Gatling on top of something. You're often just gonna... Yeah, we're bricked with too much late game here. We're only running like, you know, three cards that cost more than two, but seems like I'm getting it done. This will be fine. It plays into chop, but it means that this will be safe. Uh, best case scenario, this just does five to his face here, so that's a pretty good... Nice that he gave us a good opportunity to use plant food and work really brick. Now we'll have one for the finish. Of, we got good value up there. Apple Saucer does become better next turn. I, I wonder if Dry Gatling is just the is just the thing here. This is probably like a teleportation zombie. We can do this next turn. This is kind of awkward. <laughs> I think I'm going to dry Gatling in one. If it's Teleportation Zombie, which it usually is, he's not going to be able to teleport to answer this. I'll put it in one, so if he chops, it'll kill this, and then the 5-2 still lives. I think that's pretty good. I don't think we take the 5 damage, especially because it's getting blocked, and then it's taking too strong of a resource. And he's only got one left. I mean, this guy's... No, I, is that guaranteed now? It's not guaranteed, but... The plant food and the and the apple saucer and all that. It's gonna kill him here. If he gets heal, he'll have a little bit left. Hit that. See, as opposed to if this if if, if the five two if we had put the Gatling here, this would have propped the block, and then we would have lost this five damage from the Gatling. So we got like apple saucer plant food for the win. It's so nice as a striker. <laughs> We're doing it. We do win it the fancy way. Die! <laughs> I'm showing him what I have. Damn, so, so far. Peas, pumpkin, and all the water vegetation mutation, all the weird stuff. I like it. This deck seems to come together really well. There is like a winter storm happening where I live right now. I live in Toronto. And yeah, I can like hear ice like hitting the window. It's like freezing rain. It's crazy. Crazy stuff. Stay safe, guys. Stay off the goddamn roads. So here is Smash. I'm gonna, as a policy, really mulligan out the fours and fives and really look for. I mean, look at this hand there. Oh, there's a lot of possibilities. I, could, I need another one, though. It's too many twos. We really have a lot of twos. I wonder if I should get rid of the two apple saucers and run Bonk Choice. I probably should because it seems like on turn three you always end up with two twos then. I'm gonna make that change actually after this game. That'll be good. I think Bonk Choice will be better than Apple Saucer overall. So I'm gonna go with this. I would love if he just played Black Hole because that means we'll we'll kill it next turn. Minnesota has it, yeah. They're like the North... In North America. Yes! So, oh, I debated that. Hell yeah! We can also just pop off with the... With the, uh... Vegetation mutation. There's that. 
Um. Wow. Decision time. I mean, this is eight damage. It's ridiculous. I like the black eyed piece. Screw it. Now, if he plays a trick, oh, so he's just punished. That's good. We can do the, can do the play. We also have this geyser now, which gets value. Geyser, you're just using it to protect your cards, you know. The guy has mop. Come on, man. <laughs> so now this doesn't actually do anything. I'm gonna have to veggie here. Ugh. We can heal the 5-4. It'll be a 5-1 and we'll get it. We'll get some of that health back, so that'll be cool. Thank you, Ryo. Thank you to all the... I got a bunch of people up in here. There's the cheese. So, I'm gonna go... I'll do this play. I like it better. He could have alien news. Ooh, that would suck. Especially in a deck with, you know, mop package. This actually looks like my mop deck now. He did not have it. Hopefully that's all he's got. Yeah, so we make a good trade and we go five to face. Hell yeah. We're actually just playing like a <laughs> more of a value game at this point. Supernova Guard. We could just go face with Gatling here. It's not terrible, man. Ain't terrible. Plan food obviously does not get it done. I'm gonna go with the Gatling. I'll do it so he doesn't block and get galvanized and just be able to do things faster. That's okay. Hell yeah. So now it's six empty, so we're a plant food away. If he doesn't front this thing. Cosmos looks good. Okay, so plant food is a decent play. There's not a whole lot he can do with two sun. I don't know. There's another play where we go. We play one, two, and one. It doesn't make sense, right? I'm going to go like this. I think I'm just going to play the click P here. In order to counter you. He has to, obviously, he has to deal with this right now. I might as well play this. There's no need not to. It's nice we're sitting on 15 health. There's not nothing you can really do to... Oh my gosh, 6 plus 6. Oh, that's not going to get it done. Yeah, we're good. Guaranteed. Gatling P finishing the game. Hell yeah. Yeah. Supernova <laughs> Guard gets like something like a hole, man. Yeah, Terrify was the card that could have answered it, but you know what? I, actually, what, once we um, once we play the Click P there, the Terrify doesn't do anything. Anyway, <laughs> that and also I'm never playing around Terrify ever. Come on, man. Come on, man. Unless the guy's name is like. You know, Dick McSmashy, and he plays Arm Wrestler in turn one and passes turn two. I think at that point, I play around. When that happens, I'll play around goddamn Terrify. Come on. It's not a play around card. So, Brainstorm is a really rough matchup because he has a lot of, you know, bungee plumbers and field clears and stuff. Um, I forgot to do the Bonk Joy change because I'm stupid. Yeah, we have too many. We, have, we definitely have way too many twos. I don't know why. It's not. Black IP is a really good card, though. This is so sad too because if he bungees, he just gains a gains a card. He'll have to bungee later anyway. I'm not gonna play around Trapper either, because then I'll just coffee grounds next year. That was you, Red Jive. GG. Please only have one attack. Yes. Wow, we got off the hook. Usually summoning con man is fine, above average, but not that time, man. So that hurts. You know, if he passes, the black IP is devastating here. I'll play it on the ground, because we can coffee grounds. Really good card to coffee grounds. Pass turn two brainstorm. Let's go. Crazy bad matchup, but we got black IP. Teleport. 
and what? Okay. So we got three, four going on. Oh, we need more one drops. <laughs> we we have twelve one drops in the deck. It's clearly not enough. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So wait, okay. So it's gonna be one and two. The question is now. Where does the coffee grounds go? I think he really wants to remove the 3-4. That's going to be the priority. If he has a fruitcake, I don't know. That's what he's going to go for. So I'm actually going to play the coffee grounds in what's what what's likely the worst lane. It, for the worst minion, but I'm kind of just spreading the love. Either way was good there then. There's fruitcake, so we made the right decision. Hell yeah. So that gives us a card. <laughs> Captain Q. This deck doesn't need Captain Cucumber, but I'll definitely take it. Could have even ran Captain Cucumber in this deck instead of some of the late game. Hell yeah. So now what? We can go three and one, I guess. I kind of like it. Hello, zombie. The Captain Cucumber is a whole nother beast, because if he starts going after the Cosmo, okay, he didn't do anything, but if he goes after the Cosmo, I mean, this is just drawing cards. Hopefully we don't roll three here. Yeah, survey says, yes, it's cards. I mean, it's, we're not going to run out of steam now. Heck yeah. <laughs> we don't have any conjures in this deck, do we? No, nothing. Just pumpkin, but not really synergy. So look at the, I mean, just look at this one cost card. Just in, in a terrible environment, allegedly. Just wrecking this guy. Do we have... <laughs> we're so many options right now. Um, Gatling looks really good. So does the Winter Malone. I like the Gatling better. We have... I have this on 7. Gatling can really finish a game here easily. I mean, he's probably done regardless. Let's just let's just take this guy out of his misery. Come on, man. What could he teleport in right now that's gonna save him? Okay, well, we'll start with Yeti. <laughs> just for starters. Uh, Lunchbox actually saves him here. He's running vitamin. Okay, he's running vitamin Z. Apparently. Oh, we have Cornucopia now. He survived. He actually did really well that turn. Look at this Giga Chat over here. This guy, man, we don't have an answer to this 4-3. Uh, okay, we'll have this now. I'm just gonna Winter Malone here. Should I Scorch for some reason? Does it make any difference in this game? I'm literally playing around him doing something really stupid and then having Gadget Scientist next turn. He got the Vitamin Z from, uh, where did he get it from? So he's got the Captain Cucumber, he's got the Fruitcake, got, okay, uh, we need to stop getting Cornucopias, come on! What the hell? And we're still fine, we still have Gatling combo in two lanes here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Play for cornucopia? No, no. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, he only is too healthy. We're not. He's not gonna make it anyway. Guys, you, you, you don't. You don't want. It. <laughs> it's not a good idea. That's not a. That's not smart. <laughs> All right, screw it. Screw it. We're doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> Such a stupid idea, guys. If I lose this game, if I lose this game, there, answer that, you got a 5-4 now. If this guy can survive until Cornucopia, I'll, you know what? He deserves to win at that point. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh no. We're actually doing this. We're actually doing this. It's BM. Oh no. Oh no. You know what? I'm gonna throw some strong plays at this guy. And if he survives, if he survives, I think at that point. It's only one more turn? It's only one more turn? 
Oh my god. No, no. Oh, no. No, not like this. Uh oh. Uh oh. And he's got gone. <laughs> Bruh. Um. Um, I don't think I can do the cornucopia thing anymore, guys. Uh, I don't think that's even an option. I don't think this is... I don't... I don't think... I don't think... I don't... I just don't think. How do we actually even do this play? It was the double trickster. So give him one of these. Am I playing this? Oh my gosh, I almost missed it. Look how much, look how much, <laughs> look how much meter I have. Hey, it's not even trying to time me out. He's surely not going to answer this with a one brain, right? <laughs> I BM so hard. <laughs> he knows it too. Where did he get He got this from Eureka. He got Garg Launcher. <laughs> yes, we win. <laughs> oh my god. This is your guy's fault. You told me to PM for Cornucopia. I almost lost the game, guys. <laughs> I almost lost. Oh, you're right. If they would have had Chop, Chop from, from Thinking Cap would have lost us the game. Like, we would have died. We would have died. It would have not even been okay. Oh, I should have not evolved it because it makes it harder to remove because Chop. That's a good point. You're right. What if he had heal? Well, if he had heal, we lose anyway. Anyway, guys, we had our fun. Now, now it's serious. I keep on forgetting to add Bong Choi. Oh my gosh. <laughs> guys, can you remind me at the end of the next game? Probably. Add Bong... Here, I'm, I'm changing the thing to the deck list. That'll remind me. So now what? We Okay, there's a bunch of things we can do. We can take the trade if we want. I think I'm gonna take the trade. The, the headstone carver, it's too you gotta respect it, man. It's too scary. It's a good trade. He gets a card. It's a it's a tempo trade, though. So I'll go two, three, I think. Bro. So headstone carver and then disco dance floor. Sometimes in pirates you run this. This crap. I'm gonna take it out. Well, it's just, we're actually now, it's supposed to be an aggro deck, but uh, we're just playing tempo right now. We're obviously way ahead. So, it's always gonna be Swashbuckler. Um, I think I'm gonna go after the Swashbuckler and, and we'll let him have a 2 4. We just don't want him doing anything that gets out of control. The thing I could have done is actually gone more face here. It means he could block. He probably does. And then he could get... I don't know. It's okay. This was a fine play. <laughs> Coffee Grounds goes here. He doesn't end up doing more damage anyway, because the 4 damage would have gone blocked, so the 3. That was correct. So now he just has a 2-4. It's, it's manageable. We're... No way, bro. Okay, so let's try to draw into one of our four attack cards. Did not get it. Dang. So I want the two damage to hit more. We can go two, two, and five. Oh, that's a pretty good, pretty good play. I'm gonna just play this here. In terms of the amount of sun it takes to set that up, that'll give us a free bonus attack. He can't afford to even look at that environment right now. He goes strength. Unfortunately, he rolled a 2 and a 3. We'll see if he lets me do a Gatling play. I'll go for it. This is worth it. It's anyway... So he California rolls. Come on, man! 
he still has five sons to deal with this, and if he gets an Infinity Clone here, he's gonna need, uh, well, I guess a Bungie would do it. This final mission. Oh. I, if I lose this game, though, on a California roll, come on, man. We got rid of the earlier coffee grounds, though. Smart. Okay. I guess we just go lane one, and that's it. There's nothing else to it. If he has another removal card, we just lose. He probably has the, uh... We had lethal. That's just block meter ruining aggro decks. He has the second bungee? He does. So we're five and one. I'm changing the deck now. Too bad. Na 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 All right. Um, not, it's not because that was the one loss we really do need. Wow, should I... Should, is this better than Bong Choi? Running Primal Sunflower? There's also... There's actually a lot of choices. Bong Choi is the most, like, kind of pure aggro card. But... Honestly, maybe Primal Sunflower is just better. I, I'm gonna go with Primal Sunflower. I like it. <laughs> the deck block. Bro, it sucks! It sucks! No, we're gonna lose the pets now! z is not a good matchup, especially these little, ugh, Little Garbo cards. Garbage time, what is this? Should I keep you? You just really don't want to get z super, do you know? I'm gonna play this first to just test for which superpower he has. If he had, you know, he's probably going to want to take out Primal if he has it. Okay, so that's good. That's better than... It's a better trade than Pumpkin, you know? <laughs> Which gives him a card for free. I think we're okay here. That doesn't do anything, so I am just going right at this man's face here. Question is, should this go on ground? I'm going to play it on ground because of Scorch. We don't see Coffee Grounds or Veggie Mutation yet. If we had a Veggie, I would definitely play that on Heights. Again, if we do get coffee grounds, it's also better on the ground. Scorch obviously doesn't do anything here, but it means if he plays more minions. Two and one looks like it should be good. By the way, that gizzard lizard in the infinity game was conjured. It was conjured by, by pumpkin, pumpkin, yeah. Makes sense. That's like the hard answer. The two cards you really don't want them to get are gizzard lizard and like Alinos. Because that'll kill your late game. Man, what's with the untrickable? Come on, man. So I can't even <laughs> I can't even scorch. There's nothing to scorch. So you don't have anything. A little bit of blocks. We got the four damage in. So block Zmax Super means we have no field. I'd love him not to get that. Please either get rock wall or strength. <sighs> I'll take the five damage right now, because why not? Damn it. Oh, it's playing around Scorch. It's so good. Kind of hope he commits something else here. What the hell is he doing? He probably doesn't have a removal card. It's probably just a buff play. I wonder if I go for the plant food here. Screw it. If he goes with a removal play, it means I can still Scorch this next turn. Wait, what? Oh, he did have it. But he was saving it because he thought he'd get more value this turn. Damn. And he, of course he has an answer to... <sighs> oh, man. It, our superpower would have been so great there. It would have taken out a 5-2. So now what? Now we're getting screwed, is what's happening. 
This hand is not getting it done, this veggie. I, I might have been just playing too conservative. Six and five wins the game now. This is crazy. We'll take out the, the card instead of this. It just makes a bad trade. We have to deal with it next turn. <sighs> Five and two does not win. Holy smokes! Okay, so we have to let this hit our face now. Well, 7 and 6 doesn't get it. I could just play Gowling here, legit. It means if he has, like, a healthy treat, he probably wins, but... I think this is fine. It, we usually just win this turn. He usually has nothing, and we win. So, that looks like it's... And again, he has to roll double ones now, or... He has to defensively... He has to defensively roll three here. Roll like a two and a three. Yes! Got him! Oh my gosh. Hard matchup, Zemek in general, because of all of his lightning bolts and his splash and all that stuff. We do actually have some vulnerable one health minions in this deck now. I didn't change the deck list. Did I even take a new screenshot? I did. I just completely named. This isn't. That wasn't the matchup that we wanted to have um, <laughs> two copies of. Primal Sunflower, but uh, in other matchups it'll be much better. One health minions against Z-Mag, man, it's just... He actually got both of his Lightning Bolt powers for his Supers 1 and 2, so... That was pretty lucky. I'm just gonna go for this early game here. Wow, double cut. Of all the other things that this deck does, sometimes you just grab two click fees and oh my gosh, it's against a G2? Oh... So it's one, two, three. Oh my god, this guy. Oh hell no, oh my god. He's not gonna. I mean, if if he, if this is, it's, it's gonna take some serious high rolling here from this, from this huge giganticus. Okay, well this is the way he can actually stay in the game. He's got to get some good couple of plays here coming up, man, because we got it coming. We have his number here with this aggro hand. Doesn't have any small removal. That's the reason HG though. He's Really happy, a happy sight. Oh, not another! Oh my God, no, no, bruh! <laughs> what am I supposed to do about that? <laughs> oh hell no! Nah. Okay, we'll just do this. It's it's busted against busted. We're just. We're just not. It's not. Oh, oh man. Clicks P's S tier. Yeah, it's debatable. It's kind of auto include in every Mega Grow deck, so. At that point. So he definitely has an environment. Which means we're gonna have to hold off. I'm probably gonna like draw cards and go 1-1. One, one. We can't play into his environment here. It, it might even be a zero cost, I'm just gonna let that happen. So we draw. There's nothing we can do about it at this time. Oh my gosh, we get in more click bees, we get in everything. Let's not let him keep, he's gonna conjure one card that costs, well it's only gonna cost one less now. That's a, still a really good play, considering the situation, and he has Ducky Riders. This isn't gonna matter in this game. This game is gonna be over before this can have an impact, other than proccing the block. We're, we have a really good play set up for next turn. We have actually two very good plays. Clickpea is also really strong. We still haven't seen an environment, so I might just actually go for the Clickpea. Oh, I forgot that all these conjures, whoops, I forgot that he's double, oh no, I, I screwed up. 
I should have considered not playing the pumpkin because I forgot that the space time are, is making these monsters. They're free now. Oh, that's so stupid of me. What am I thinking? Yeah, I, I should have considered a different course of action there for sure. Because he just gets free monsters now. That was rough. Mob bad. We still haven't seen his environment, so I'm still going to hold off. What do we do here? It's got to just be click beer. He got this. This is a three cost. No, he got that from the buried treasure. Okay, at least it's not my fault. That is one of the control cards that you can get. One of the... Okay, there's his environment, so that's good. I don't really bit that. Oh, my gosh. Just giving him more resources is rough. I don't even know. What, what block would even help us here? I wish we could kill, like, the 5-2, but... Happen Never mind, we didn't block. Imagine blocking. So now what? Two. Sheesh. I'm gonna do it like this. And like this. And uh we'll we'll get we'll get some really good vegetation mutations coming up. No way, bro, no way. He got that from Duck Stash, okay? Ugh. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> this is just I mean this was the perfect SH1T storm. It doesn't matter what we get now. He's also uh, he has another environment. Does this matter? Yeah, it really does. Holy crap! If he gets his soup, he just rolled. He Virginia rolled us twice. I mean, he hit us on the cycle easily two times. I mean, okay, bro. Okay, all right, bro. Okay, okay, man. <laughs> GG, such skills. Such HG skills. I shouldn't complain. I'm the one who abuses HG the most. So we're 6 and 2 now. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> you can't beat that when they have that that good and then they have double space time on turn 2. And there's nothing you can do about that, man. <laughs> So, one, two, three. It looks like a. It looks like a hand. I opened this stream the second it was lane three, and I said double threes. L M A O O O. Hey, not what we can do, but I'm gonna I'm gonna wait on that. I think, and just go face here in the meantime. Yeah, skill issue for sure. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. The, the bets are no longer a gimme. We were 5 and 0 oh just a second ago, but we're 6 and 2. That is life. So, I'm going to stay. He's playing aggro. Arguably faster aggro than we are. Hello, Philippe. Tell him to come on the stream. <laughs> I don't know why I'm being a Karen. So now what? That's probably a conga. In which case, this play is not very good. I'm I'm legit just gonna play around conga right now. Is there anything else that would make sense with like? It could be jester. It could be jester. I'm gonna play around conga. I'm gonna do it like that. And it's flame face, okay? So it's just running aggro strike through, I guess. I guess that makes sense. Flame face is 
It's a high health strike through card that you can give buffs and it has bullseye if you have disc going on. I don't know. We can chomp the hell out of it if we want. What is with the corves though? This is not cool. Uncool. Please don't, Virginia, roll me a gun. Oh, God. We are in trouble. At least that one dies. Actually, he only has two cards. This isn't that scary. I don't know. Do I draw cards against the. You know what? It's the difference between one and two damage, and I'd rather actually have cards here, so. If I keep that in my hand, it does one, because that's called drawing a card from the comments. So I might as well just play it. But we're down to six. I don't know, man. He's got ten. We're at five. Ugh. I gotta just play as defensively as possible, I guess. But maybe I'll go... Oh. oh my gosh, if this guy plays one more core, we're dead, actually. We just lose, anyway. I'll try to still play defensive here. We can't take one more shot from these corves, though. He's corving us. He left three, so he's gonna have something, right? So, oh, we ha we can block here still. No, we can't. Split P's gonna met Split P. Well, if Split P, <laughs> he's keeping it alive because we're in chip. We need to get heal. Uh, I guess our our Chumpzilla Super would do it as well. That's supposing we're yeah, we're blocking here. So we need to either get heal. Got it. Oh my gosh, we're alive. Somehow. <laughs> Guys, this game's well. Oh my gosh. Oh my, yeah, no, Sugary Tree would have just wrecked us there. So now what? Oh, I don't know. We know this is a, uh, it's just an Infinity Clone. He didn't have a lot last turn. I could just try to plant food this lane. Actually, is plant fooding this one better? Three... That means he can't do as much BS. Three, three, and four wins. I'm gonna go with my gut, which is probably wrong. I'm gonna do this play. Is now well, the block meter screwing us. He would have won in lane two. There's just a bunch of things that happen there. Can we please actually roll well here? Yes! 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 <laughs> it's a miracle! How did we win that game? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Okay. Miracle comeback, let's go. We're seven and two, just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Come on, man. Oh, that was for the bets, too. I can't believe it. All right, guys, here's all the beans. It always ends up in a seven and two scenario. The <laughs> How many of you would have, would have plant fooded that god man there? Come on, man. Spam him up. Spam him up. <laughs> Let's go. Guys, this is this is doable. I think I have to keep this against Brainstorm, though. For oh, it's, it's, He has, like, so many things. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, we're going with this first. Do I even just ditch? Do I literally just ditch Haunted Pumpkin here? I can't really. It's the most powerful card in our deck. Oh, hell no. We'll go that on Heights. I gotta do the Vegetation Mutation on turn 2 more. We'll see if we can draw into that. <laughs> the Prime Up script writers really outdid themselves with this one, yeah. <laughs> as, a, as a Philly fan, I'm not surprised to hear you say that voice. <laughs> <laughs> and 
as they say, as they say in, in Hebrew, when the bride can't dance, she says the musicians can't play. Think about it. It makes perfect sense. So if he plays now, speaking of play, if he plays, I actually will take advantage of with double Haunted Pumpkin. Oh, he did it too. Yeah, I'm just going to double Pumpkin this guy. That one of them's not hitting, it just makes a good trade here, which is fine. Bro, enjoy your, your monsters. Now, if one of these two are a... Uh, it clears this lane too, which we're going to need to do. If one of these ends up being a Gizzard Lizard, then I can say bye-bye to Miss American Pie. Please, no Gizzard. He has the perfect backup dancer sitting here. Just... <laughs> Doing all that stuff. Otherwise, we're drawing cards and playing Black IP against Pass, so that'll be good. Or even against Not Pass. Ooh, veggie. I think this is good enough. And it's Kite Flyer. Right. Damn, though, we're getting him down to like eight health here? Six health? We're getting him down to six health. I don't know, he's drawing cards, he's like, woo -hoo, science! God damn it! Oh my gosh, if these guys roll double threes... I guess that really wasn't the California roll, because he was at six... He was at 14, okay. So he rolled double ones, and then rolled double threes. It wasn't actually a Cali roll. Bruh, okay. Now all we need to do is top deck... Oh man. <laughs> I got a top deck Elderberry, and everything will be fine. God damn it! Wow, we can actually do this play instead. <laughs> Screw this guy, man. Look at this play. <laughs> yes, Bellflower OP. Look at it. Look at it. I got this guy who had only one health out of range, too. Because, you know, one's easy to do. Oh, my gosh. Look at the chicken. Come on. But we win. It doesn't matter. No one cares. Nobody cares. You're dead. Nice chickening, bro. And that's it! That'll do it! Hell yeah! <laughs> ah, get wrecked! <laughs> get decimated! That was turn four, right? That was turn four. Well, that's the highlight intro. You believe you, me, this going on. What a stream. Who knew aggro would be so interesting? But that's the bets, guys. <laughs> Honestly, that last play, that was the whole deck right there. Turn four, he just coffee grounds veggie mutation on an aggro card on a 4-1. On a and it does what? It does 12 damage for the win. Get shrekt. Alright guys, so that is gonna be all for now. I hope you enjoyed. That was the Chomstilla. Really fun. I love that we're playing aggro, we're playing Haunted Pumpkin. But this deck just does because of the vegetation mutations and the Cosmos and the Coffee Grounds. It's just a really, really out there different deck to play and that is why I love it. Absolutely fantastic. Hope you guys enjoyed. I certainly did. Peace. This is Fry.